guys want some cheap coins? Uh-uh. One million coins for not 60, but $20. <laughs> Well, make sure you go visit maddenstores.com. Use code GOOF for 10% off. It's Lee. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Goofball Gaming back again with another video. And today, man, we got a special video for you guys. All right, so basically, what I decided to do because EA ain't releasing any good packs in store right now, man. So I was like, ah, I gotta, I gotta do something. I gotta, I gotta bring out a video for the goofs, man. Because I ain't gonna be live streaming in a long time. So. No, I gotta keep up with this videos grind, man. We gotta go on the grind, baby. So basically, I'm gonna be showing you guys some uh, snipey filters. Basically, I've gotten together all the best snipey filters, and I'm gonna put them all in this one video. All right. So you guys can sit back and enjoy and make some coins before that team of the year promo. So basically, every single you know really uh, that effective filters that um, really work will be in this video I that and there's no bots I'm not gonna go tell you guys to sign uh, 95 elite players for like 200 coins like that's not that's not a safe filter all right that, that that's feeding the bots all right but here we go all right let's get into the first sniping filter here well uh, we're gonna go Dak all right because you know Dak Prescott's list so that Dak Prescott here and you want to kind of go 18k I usually go around 18k on my server I don't know about your server guys um but my server is around 18k. I will be making a server video. So there you go. There is a snipe right there. There is a live snipe. All right. So there's 10,000 coins. All right. And now he goes for around 18. So I'm gonna list them up for 18,000 coins. And there's a quick, you know, around like 6,800 coins because of tax. All right. So there you go, guys. I'm just showing you guys these filters are legit. All right. All my auctions, you guys can see that there's two old guards here. Um, that has something to do with the next filter. So basically, you can go 82. And you're gonna go offensive guards. I, I don't know why 81 or below offensive guards they just turn retard. I they, they, they don't just don't go for anything else. I right, so bang bang here we go. This is a freaking great round here. I right, so here we go. We're getting all of these boys up, man. Five. Oh my. Oh my God. People people are dropping these boys, man. So as you guys can see that I got four snipes right there. And I'm gonna list them all up for 7K. They will eventually sell. You guys just gotta be patient. I right, so there you go, man. There's another sniping filter that's working, bro. I'm just out here picking. Pickpocketing. I am out here taking all this coins, man. I'm out here making coins, man. Here we go. All right. Next, we're gonna go for um this filter right here. This was a really effective filter. If you guys checked out my 100% working sniper filter, it still works to this day because they added Ladanian Tomlinson and Randall Cunningham. Oh God. Added Ladanian Tomlinson and Randall Cunningham to this filter. So there's a lot of choices we can have here. All right. So we can see a lot of Amon Greens. That's gonna happen a lot. A lot of Herman Moore, but. Basically, you can get Brian Dawkins, you can get Randy Moss, you can get Randall Cunningham, um, and you can get Ladinia Thompson collectibles from this um, sniper filter, man. And there's no bots on these sniper filters unless it's a really new legend. Sometimes there are bots on the new legends, but for now, there are no bots, alright? For now. Randall Cunningham might have a couple, you know, bots here and there, but Ladinia Tomlinson will not have any bots. I can confirm that because I've sniped a couple, alright? But next one, we, we're going to stay in this topic of legend collectibles but we're gonna reset the 8n filter and we're just gonna go 5,000 coins i know there's none up right now so we can go for a bit higher uh i saw one go up earlier so we got three ted hendrix here ted hendrix isn't the best so i'm not gonna snipe that up but you guys get the point man once you guys see someone you know a legend that's just pacey right? you can just tell that he goes for a lot make sure you go snipe him up man because he definitely will go for a lot man and there's nothing to lose here you if if they go for not a lot you still resell it you're still gonna make a couple coins all right next is an investment tip all right now first of all they might release uh flashback fridays back into the game i'm not sure i don't know i'm just guessing but usually all the promos have something to do with elite trophies all right now uh ultimate freeze didn't really have anything to do with elite trophies but uh they might release new x factors like they released the ty hilton x factor right the gifts so make sure you want to snipe these out for 20k i have four saved up here if you were in my stream the other day i had like 40 something saved up but i had to sell all of it because i was doing a ton of giveaways for the stream man because the stream was getting elite all right but next one you guys want to do is the pro pack method now i'm not going to open 10 pro packs here because uh, that's gonna take a lot of time out of the video, but if you guys checked out my 100% uh, working sniping filter video I did open 10 pro packs. I pulled an elite and one elite is all you really need to make a um, Make a profit bro, and if you don't pull an elite, there's still a chance and If you sell out everything man everything the most you could probably lose is around 10 to 20k bro So I'd say it's a really good investment to do the pro pack method 
Next method you guys want to do is you guys want to do the 10 player trophy set now. What I usually do is I usually bid, but you can, I can also snipe gold players for 2,300. Just think of it this way, man. If you pull the gold, if you pull the un, one only trophy, all right, that's already 20, 25k, 24k. Now you've already spent 2,300 on each player, so that's 23k for the pack, all right. That's already your money back, and then you're gonna get a ton of bronze so, uh, trophies, silver trophies, or maybe even gold trophies. So you're gonna make a lot of coins from the set, but the bad thing is that if you get one gold trophy and a ton of bronzes and silvers, you're not making your money. But right now, I'd say do the set right now because there's a very high chance you make your money, and it's a good risk, man. Same thing for the six player trading set for the silver players, but silver players are a bit less, and there's a, a lower chance you're gonna pull a late trophy out of that. But you can pull uh, quite a bit of gold trophies, man. Like I pulled four gold trophies in those ones, and and I pulled elite trophies in them before, but it's just not really worth it. All right. Next, we're going to hop into sets here, man. We're going to go look at all the weekly sets here. We're mainly looking at um, these sets right here. So, here we have the Tyree kill. Now, I don't really like to snipe the elite players because the elite players usually have bots. But I like to snipe the gold, expensive gold players. So, we're going to look at, for example, Russell Wilson. Alright, Russell Wilson, there's a Doug Baldwin there. You know, there's a Justin Simmons there. Uh, Javorius Allen. There's all these players out here, man. And literally, you just need to pick one, man. Pick one. And you never know, man. You never know. Somebody might just drop him, and you might be the lucky one just on that filter sitting there for maybe a couple minutes. And you claim, and you got him, man. And when you snipe one of these, I'm pretty sure there's not a lot of competition because there's not really a specific filter for this. There, it, there used to, that I had one, but what happened to that filter? Oh, round just dropped, man. But what happened to that filter is, um, more and more headliners started going in that I tried to narrow down the filter so much that I just narrowed it down to one player and it just wasn't worth it. Alright, so, but that is a really good filter you guys want to use, but make sure you, um, um, look at the names and, you know, scout out some letters that are, you know, similar or the teams or whatever and make sure you want to get specific players. Alright, now, next one is, uh, we have two investing tips. Alright, so, first, first investing tip is you want to go, uh, elite players for 300k. And you want to look at signature players, all right? But these signature players, they're pretty expensive, man. So you want to look at the more recent ones, and you want to look at the 93s. And you definitely don't want an offensive lineman. You do not want a tight end like Greg Olson. The only reason, or Tyler Eifert, the only reason you really don't want a tight end because the tight ends are very common in this game. So they're very cheap in this game, all right? So never want any of these tight ends, bro, but just... Have a little scout around, man. You never know what you find, bro. That's the thing. You might find a, you know, cheeky market king here and there and you'll just snipe it up. And that's easy coins, man. And the second investing tip is probably saving your New Year's player, man. So, whoever New Year's player you have, Joey Bosa, you know, I have the Zeke Elliott, man. Keanu Neal, anyone. Um... Actually, actually, you know what? Sell Zeke Elliott because Zeke might get a playoff card. You never know. And probably Zeke will probably get a team to your card. All right? So that might lower his price, but I don't see it lowering that much. So you could probably save him and take the chance if you want. All right? Next filter here, we have a kind of a specific filter. All right? We're going to go punters, offensive guards, uh, quarterback. Uh, no, all the special teams, basically. Fullback. Uh, we want to go safety. We want to go center, wide receiver. I think that's it, right? Yeah, 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 that's it. So you want to take out all the common positions out here. You want to go 84 overall, and you want to look for gold players. I know. You can find some cheeky gems in here, right? You can find some headliner players here that are worth a lot. Right, so I usually go for around 5K. Now, Steve Sipsiner, like, you don't really want him. Allen Robinson, he had a bad season. That's why his price is so low. Dante Moncrief, there's a couple there. Like, if Dante Moncrief was in that Thanksgiving promo, that would be a ton because he was a lot, bro. But make sure you look around in this filter, man. You never know what you can find. Some ultimate freeze players here and there, but not really worth it anymore because kind of end the promo. The promo's kind of dead now, so, yeah. The final tip I have for you guys is make sure you want to go uh, look at your live events and your store packs, man. So today we have Journeyman, and make sure you want to go snipe up some Journeyman uh, players. Either put them in the set because all the live event players like Game Changers, journeymen veterans they all go for a bit more than they used to i right? because of these sets so make sure you want to save them up and make sure you want to go cop some of these players man so also play your live events bro i know i don't play my live events anymore because i don't really need coins at this point but if you're really low on coins please play your live events man that helps you so much trust me man you never know that one day you might get lucky man and here are the all pro packs here i opened the all pro packs on my own i didn't pull anything so yeah, I didn't really want to record all an all pro pack video because it's kind of lame. But 
here we had a five all pro pack bundle but all pro packs don't really mean anything but let's say there was a collector's pack if there's a collector's pack that means there's a ton of um collectibles going around and if there's a ton of collectibles going on people are most likely completing sets so make sure you guys want to go snipe set players on those days all right so make sure you alter your filters around what day it is the best example i have for you guys is if there is a game plan live event in the live event section, all right? Now, that is the best one because I usually snipe a lot of game plans and there's a ton of game plans there that go for really cheap. You can pull elite game plans out of those live events, man. Just because you pull bronze, bronzes are worth a lot if you save your coins, man. They could be worth up to 3k, maybe even 10k, bro, all right? But that's up to you guys, man. If you guys want to work for coins, man, listen to this, these methods, man. Also, man, if you guys want some cheap coins, if you guys want to... um buy some cheap coins man make sure you go visit madinstores.com use my code goof for 10% off all right but if you guys enjoyed this video man make sure you guys leave a like make sure you guys subscribe thank you guys for the recent support on that stream we had around 900 new goofs man so make sure you guys share my video so we can get more goofs in here all right so the goof squad is more elite all right so thank you guys for watching man and the goof is out peace